hello guys uh well by the end of this video this is the output you're supposed to get you're supposed to be able to display uh google maps on both ios and android here we have one ios it's running smoothly with no problem whatsoever and here we have it on android hello beautiful people how are you guys doing uh welcome back to our course uh, on today's video we are going to display the map on our Android and our iOS apps so I'll try to be uh, I'll try to be doing both at the same time because I believe that somehow things are easier like that so okay let's let's do that the very first thing you will want to do is go to this website here but the link for the website is going to be i'll provide the link in the description where we will get the google maps api when we create a firebase project we get access to the google cloud sometimes called called g cloud and on our Google Cloud, we can enable multiple APIs that we're going to use on our Firebase project. So when you hit this link, you will just press on Get Started, and then you'll select what you want for the API, maps, uh, routes, and places. I think they're all important. You hit Continue, and then you have to select the project, which is going to be the project name you want to work on. I have a couple projects here, but you just select the uber clone project and um, after that you hit next and you'll have to f fill some building information and uh, don't you don't have really to get worried about this because it's going to be free it's still going to be free what they're doing here is just making sure that when the, com the time comes for you to pay you'll be able to do that but it's going to be free you just have to set your billing information here but it's going to be free so you just complete this process and there is nothing super super amazing to do the here you just select you just hit next set account and uh, you enable can create key and then you hit next next to get the API key and then that's very important you just uh, place your key somewhere safe unfortunately I won't be able to display my key on the screen because it's something private I cannot show you guys my key now that we have the API key what are we going to do first of all let's head to our there's a lot of things open here but anyways let's try to close some stuff and do one thing at a time okay the very first thing you'll want to do is go to your pub spec file and i'm facing a lot of problem with conflicting version of dependencies and that's something that's going to happen to you a couple times but to make your life easier i have a list of dependencies here that are working i'm going to put this on our on the video description or somewhere somewhere you guys can access it so to make things easier you just copy the same dependencies i gave you and paste them here and just hit packages get we having a small issue here mm, what, the, what, what the issue is okay I have some problems with the e indentation here let me do this again and it works perfectly and I'll put this on the video description uh, after this what you want to do is 
go to android go to app open source open main and open our manifest and inside of our manifest we can we can get rid of these comments inside of our manifest i'll zoom this uh since we want the permission to access the user's location we need to pass this line of code here and don't worry i will put i'll make this available to you guys and make sure you pa you pass it under um, the manifest but not inside of the app and now uh, for the for the location we have two time two types of access uh, this is more precise the access find location is more precise and it's the one we're going to use and we don't have to worry too much about the other and then uh, after that there's another line we are going to pass in here this line and just inside of our application we are going to paste it and you have to replace this space here with your API key so you have to insert your API key in here uh, I'm not going to do it now but you just get your API key come and paste it here after that is done now we are going to, we are going to copy this line because now we're going to configure our ios to display the map as well we have that copied we have that copied you can just close this for now open ios you are going to open the runner and you're going to open the app delegate m and first of all, we're going to import the Google Maps maps.h and then we are going to copy this line of code which is going to contain our API key and inside of this function you just paste the line and uh, we are going to replace in here with our API key afterwards So there, that's something to have in mind. Um, after we have that done, there is a lot of copy pasting on this video. We will copy this line of code. And we want our info p list and just here we're going to paste it okay And I believe this is everything we need for now. Now let's go to our main, not our main, our home screen. And first off, we are going to import. package Google Maps and in here we don't need to use this app bar I can just remove it and here insta ins instead of using this center widget you can go ahead and use the stack and for the children of the stack I'm going to provide 
Google Map. Uh, for initial camera position, we're going to give our camera position. Target, we are going to provide our latitude and longitude. And here I'm going to give 12.92. And uh, these values are just placeholders. We are going to get this automatically afterwards. But here I'm just, I'm just inserting dot. I guess that that's more or less the latitude and longitude of where I'm at. So we can put anything in here really. Okay. And with that done, we have our latitude and longitude. Our zoom, we are going to set it to 20. Okay, uh, with this done, let me put this on full screen. With this done, I believe that there's not a lot of things to do for this video. I'm trying to make the video short so you guys can understand each video. I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to mix a lot of topics on a single video. So here we're going to display the map and this is what we have to do and now what I'm going to do I'll just stop the video and I'll go I'll paste the API keys and I'll fill the, the field with the API keys and then I'll run the app and if you do that on your app you are supposed to get the same output I'm about to get right now